A lot of searches in 2026 will be answered by AI. The good news is that AI doesn't replace SEO. It relies on most of the same traditional SEO tactics with just a few extra layers. That means that if your Shopify store is set up the right way, you can show up in both Google and AI powered results. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to optimize your Shopify store for SEO from keywords to structure so that you can rank higher and attract consistent visitors from both traditional Google results and AI powered results. So stay with me until the end because beyond the usual SEO tips, I'm going to show you how you can position your store to appear in AI generated answers. This could give you a huge visibility boost before your competition even knows it's possible. And if you're new here, my name is Christian and for the past decade, I've been building and optimizing Shopify stores for brands all over the world. If you want to learn how to grow your store too, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join the community. So most people think that SEO is just about keywords, but real Shopify SEO is about building trust with both Google and your customers. Once you get that right, organic traffic starts coming in like clockwork. Did you know that only about 5% of people ever make it to the Google second results page? That means that if your store isn't on the first page, most people will never even find it. And now with Google's new AI summaries showing answers right at the top, many users don't even scroll down to see the actual website results. That's why what we're about to cover is so important. Google actually wants to give its users the best experience possible. So it lists at the top websites that answer their questions clearly and accurately. If you want your store to be listed there, you need to make it clear to Google that your page provides exactly what people are searching for. But how do you actually find out what people are searching for? The easiest way is to start with Google's autocomplete feature. Just type in your main keyword into the search bar and see what suggestions come up. And that will give you a basic idea, but if you want more detailed insights, then you can use Google's Keywords Planner. It's a free tool from Google that shows how often keywords are searched each month and how competitive they are. And while these options are a great starting point, there are more advanced tools out there that can give you a significant edge in your keyword research. In this video, I'm going to be using SEO Ant, which is a tool that I often use on my stores. SEO optimization needs to be done on all of your pages, but I'll start with this bad bomb product page. The first step is finding your primary keyword. This is like your page's headline. It should be short, clear, and describe exactly what your product is. In other words, it's the simplest way you can tell Google and your visitors what your page is about. In this case, a strong primary keyword would be bad bomb. And I can double check if the keyword is actually good inside SEO and to validate it and see if there are more opportunities. Once I've confirmed that the main keyword has a solid search volume, the next step is to gather supporting secondary keywords. These are related phrases that can help Google better understand what your product or page is about, giving it more context and improving your chances of ranking higher. And later on, we're going to add the secondary keywords in the body of our pages, like in your product description, different sections of the page or in the FAQ section. And try to focus on keywords that have low competition and high search volume if possible. They are rare, but they offer the best chance to rank faster. So once you've collected your primary and your secondary keywords, now it's time to add them to your website so that Google can start recognizing them. I'll head back to my bad bomb example and open the page in Shopify. First, add your primary keyword in the product title. This is the headline of your page, so keep it short, clear and easy to read. A good guideline is to put the main keyword first or in the beginning, then add one or two words that describe the product's unique features or benefits. Next in your product description, include both your primary and your secondary keywords. Your description should be around 150 or 300 words to give Google enough context and try naturally mentioning your primary keywords two, three times with secondary keywords sprinkled in. If you need a little bit of help generating this, then you can pause the video and use the prompt on the screen in your favorite AI tool. Then you can copy and paste the results directly on your pages. So after creating your titles and your description, we'll have to go at the bottom of the page and also fill in the SEO title and the SEO description. This is what will actually be displayed on Google. Now let me show you how you can use SEO Ant to optimize your store faster. In content optimization, I can pick any of the pages or blogs. I just pick the page I want and the app helps me do everything from keyword research to placing keywords in the right fields. It also gives you a step-by-step -step guidance based on Google's SEO advice. 
and a visual score showing how optimized my page is. Now both methods can work, I just prefer using SEOn to save time and remove the guesswork. Next let's optimize the product images. Google can't see pictures like we do, so it relies on something called alt text to understand them. To add it, click on any image in your Shopify media library, you'll see the alt text field there. A good approach is to include your product name and the angle of the shot like lavender bat bomb top view or lavender bat bomb side view. And this is one page done, now all we have to do is repeat this process for all our other pages. But don't worry, Shopify makes it easy because every page, product and blog has the same SEO fields. So once you know the steps, it's straightforward to follow. Now there is one more place we need to add keywords and that is the site's title and meta description. You can edit this under online store and preferences. Pick a primary keyword and a few secondary keywords that describe your store. Add the primary keyword to the title and then include both primary and secondary keywords in your description. Next we're gonna submit our sitemap to Google Search Console. And a sitemap is basically a list of all the pages on your website. It shows Google what pages exist and how they are organized. To do this you'll need to create a Google Search Console account where you can actually submit your sitemap. This is important because if you don't do it, some of your pages might not get discovered by Google or indexed meaning that they won't show up in search results. Now with the rise of AI, a lot of people think that SEO is dead. But that's not true at all. Think of AI results as an extension of traditional SEO not as a substitute for it. These AI systems are pulling their answers from websites with strong traditional SEO. So if your store is already well optimized, you're setting yourself to appear not just in Google regular search results, but also inside AI generated answers. So let's look at what kind of content these AI systems actually love and promote and how can you get featured in those results. First, AI loves natural question focused content. That means writing the way people actually talk, answering real questions clearly in a conversational tone. Second, AI ranks content based on something called EEAT. That stands for experience, expertise, authority and trustworthiness. And this really applies when you're writing content for your blog or your pages. Instead of just describing your product, share real experiences or case studies, include stats from trusted sources and mention your background or expertise. Don't be afraid to address common doubts your customers might have. That's exactly the kind of genuine experience-based content AI loves to highlight. Next, AI loves semantic richness. Instead of repeating the same keyword over and over again, mix in natural variations and related terms. This helps AI understand your products and pages in context, making it more likely your store shows up in AI-generated results. After this, focus on clear, easy-to-read structure. Break your content into sections with headings, use bullet points to highlight key details, and keep paragraphs short. This not only helps AI, but makes it easier for your visitor to scan and find what they are looking for. FAQs are also a big win. Answering common questions increases your chances of showing up in AI-generated responses and featured in their snippets. And don't forget about the schema markup because that's really important and it helps Google display rich results like ratings, prices and availability. Plus for AI tools, schema makes it much easier to understand your product and include it in AI-generated answers. Finally, make sure that you cover your topic from all angles. The more complete and helpful my content is, the more likely AI tools are to pull information directly from my store or feature it in their answers, which means more visibility and more traffic for my business. And to make that process easier, SEO Ant can help you create content and blog posts for your store on the fly. It automatically generates SEO friendly text that's well formatted, keyword optimized and written in the exact way AI engines prefer. If you want to try out SEO Ant, you will have a link in the description. Some people believe that SEO is a thing that you do once and then you forget about it, but search engines love websites that keep their content fresh. Updating your pages regularly signals to Google and to AI tools that your store is active and relevant. If you want to see a more in-depth step-by-step guide on how to optimize your Shopify store for SEO, I think you'll want to see that video next. Click it and I'll see you there.